right, so hopefully you can see what we've done with the robe and the, it's called a double highlight. And now we're going to start our flesh. Our highlighting is done and later on we'll go back and reinstate some of the lines uh, with our brown matter plus a touch of black. But right now let's start on flesh. And of course, as always, we begin with prayer. We place ourselves in the presence of God, asking for his blessings, thanking him for the blessings he's already bestowed on us, and mentioning to him and praying about the intentions we want to write into this icon. Let us pray. So we're going to take our flesh one, and our flesh one is a... Uh, mixture that we've created for the base uh, first flesh here. Our base coat of course is the sun here which is the dark and then our first flesh is going to be this beautiful orange tangerine like color and I will have the ingredients and how to mix that up in the description box below the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's find our features and start putting some paint on here. Now this paint has already got water and flow medium in it. I think I'm going to put just a tiny bit more flow medium in. Sometimes your paints, when you mix them up like that and you keep them for a while, they can dry out. So. Just make sure that that's flowing nicely and you have a nice consistency there. Remember we always roll our brush to take off the excess paint and to get a nice point in, uh, so that we can begin to lay our paint down. So I'm going to try to make sure that you can see this really well as I go through here. Um, so that you can see where we're applying the paints. So I can just barely see, I don't know if you can see, but you can just barely see the features. And that's what I'm gonna be concentrating on, where I'm going to apply the paint based on where the features are. I'm just going to start laying down some paint. Right where the eyes are. Can I see that one? Yeah, I just got to get it in the right light. About the eyebrow, like that, and start laying this down. Here's the hairline up here, so we'll just kind of designate that, and then we're just going to take that paint that we've laid down and start pulling it to the hairline right in here. I'm not going to make it very dark. We don't want this to be a real heavy coat. Here's the ear. I want to kind of mark out where the ear is. And then I'm going to come right down the side here. Making sure I've left my eyebrow.
right, so I just got to get his mouth in there. It's not very even, but it will get better. It will. So we're not worrying about distinguishing fingers right now. We're just painting all of this. And we'll come back in then and distinguish where our fingers are. All right. Now, this is where we start to shrink up. And if you notice, I am working in like a triangular pattern across the cheekbones. So the face we build, we build it from the eyes and the nose in and work our way out then. Okay, he's starting to come along. On the arms then, we'll try to get this a little bit cleaner, but we're working from, not from the edge, we're working from really the middle out because we're leaving some of that flesh darker. So we're just not going to do every square inch of the flesh. We're going to let that be a little bit darker on the outside and work in so that we have some dimension to the flesh. And 
I'm gonna, I am going to go all the way to the edge here. I know that like on these surfaces right here and right here, they're going to be really bright. But the further away edge is not, and this edge is not, because the cloak is kind of hiding that part of his arm. So that's not going to be as bright. But in areas where I know that the light would shine, they'll be brighter.
I finished with flush one. We're finished with flush one. So this is what it looks like. So this is what we're looking at for right now. We're going to start on flush two. And we are going to cover almost all of this orange with our flush two, which is a yellow color. So let's go ahead and get started. There are going to be a few things that we leave in here that are going to be orange. Let's go ahead and start and we'll start with the forehead and I am going to go out almost to the edge and lay this paint down. And then just spread this out. One of the things that we don't want to do is we do not want to put any yellow into an area that's this dark sun here because it'll make it look pretty funky if we do. So try to keep that separate. And here I went right in there and all right so we're just gonna we're gonna leave a little line right here on the nose very tiny come down And then the nose itself, leave a little tiny line there. And then this is, we always think of the nose as a fish, a fish shape. So basically we have the tail up here, we have the body of the fish, and then we have the head of the fish down here. and then the nostril. Now we are going to leave a little line on the ears as well. So I'm going to cover the ear, come down to right about there. Leave a little line there. Come down to about right there. And just leave a small line there as well. Okay. I am doing the entire eyelid, however, 
the next time I do this, I'm not going to go all the way to the top because I want that to be a little darker on the upper eyelid to give the eye some definition. And this is where we're going to leave a little line here. So, coming down. And just remember, when you put this first coat of Flush 2 on it, it's going to look really bright. I don't want you to get freaked out about that. The brightness is going to diminish when acrylic dries. It dries darker. So when you put it on, it's going to look really bright, and you're going to think, oh my, that's too much. But when it dries, it's going to dry darker, and I think you'll be happy with it. Less is more. Um, sometimes you'll put on a really thick coat, and then it'll be just a little too much, perhaps. So thinner is always better. You can always add more, but you cannot always take it off. So, Now, here's where we're going to make some distinctions. Is with the fingers. And we are going to I'm going to come down here and then let's stop just short of the fingers and let's look at what we want to do. We're going to start dividing the fingers up now into sections. And so we'll leave a little orange line where we want to designate where a knuckle is going to be. Go in here with my number three. And what I want to do is going to establish a little fingernail and you don't have to do this uh, this is like something extra you do not have to do that so I established a little fingernail So now we kind of have the knuckles, have the knuckles designated. are pretty much going to be in about the same area. I mean, some fingers are a little longer than other fingers. So 
so they might be slightly higher or lower, but pretty much all in the same area. Up here we're gonna make some knuckles and we'll connect them So that hand is starting to take a little bit of shape here. All right, let's go back up and continue to work on our face. And I am going to switch back to my number six. For the fingers and the hands, I just used a number three. There's a lot more control with that uh, smaller brush. Let's come over here. Let's do this eyelid. So right next to the eye. And then up, not quite to the eyebrow. Up into the corner of the eye, right next to the eye underneath. Come down. 
I'm going to wipe off the excess and then I'm going to spread this paint. I'm not going to the absolute edge. I'm coming in just a little bit. And the nose. So don't forget, we have a line on the nose right here. And I'm not going to go all the way to this edge. I'm going over right there and I'm going to stop because this area right here I want to be a little bit darker. So the first coat I painted all the way across. This coat I'm not going to. Stopping right there. Right there. So this part of the nose is going to be darker. Right, well, we are continuing with our flush, and right now we're trying to work on our flush three. Okay, so our flush three then is our flush two plus a little bit of unbleached titanium. And so what we want to do now is really start shrinking that up. And I'll tell you, I did forget, there's always a little place right above the lip and I did not use my flush one there so I'm going to kind of go in here a little bit with uh, a little bit of the orange this is our flush one that little tangerine color and what I need to do is just just put just the tiniest bit here of orange. All right, that's better. And the reason we do that, we need to show just a tiny bit of skin right above the lip, even though he's going to have a mustache. We want just this tiny little piece right in here to reflect the skin above that upper lip. And so that's why I'm putting just a touch of that orange there, because I forgot. You always have to add the orange first. That gives our base coat for the nice 
yellow color that we place in flesh two and flesh three. So we'll let that dry a little bit. Won't take long. It's not a very big spot. And then I'm going to go in here with a little bit of uh, flesh two. Put a little bit of that in there here. And okay. Let that dry. So I'm going to take my um, smaller brush. I, I want to do a little bit right up in here with some of our flesh three and uh, just kind of build up some of these highlights. And I am going to work right here, right next to the eye. And right above the eyebrow. And then there's a small area right there that I am leaving with a darker color. And then coming in right here on the nose. Just putting the highlight right on the outside of the nose. Let's go up under the eye. Come down and just work in a really small triangular area here. Same thing on this side. Just pull that out a little bit. Get right up underneath that nostril there. If it gets a little too bright, use your finger right up in here, come down, make this pretty bright, come right down here next to that, let that ease out a little bit, okay, 